So, and Del Wong on the opposite back oh. right and down he goes, and this one is out. It's not winning any rounds. Oh, there's a hard right hand, and now on the ropes and out of the ring. Oh, that's it. Oh, In 2011, heavyweight prospect Robert Hellenius, the Nordic Nightmare, took a major step up when he faced former title holder Samuel Peter, the much feared Nigerian puncher. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck to you both. Peter, who came in at a career high, was the aggressor. Hellenius initially showed him that respect, mostly working behind Peter's jab. But all of that changed in round nine when he sent a grimacing Samuel Peter down to his knees for a KO. Three, four, five, six. Turn it over. F.A. Ajagba has previously represented his country, Nigeria, in the Olympics, winning with knockout in all weight classes in Rio. This time, he had to maintain his five games, five knockouts record. F.A. showed his readiness on the big stage as he stopped Del Long in just 35 seconds in the opening round. In 2015, one of the highest-ranked bouts ever staged in New Zealand featured Tongan-born Australian WBO Africa title holder Bowie Tupo and New Zealand Joseph Parker with a record of 14 wins, 12 KOs. He barely broke a sweat, taking just 63 seconds to land a ducking Tupo in the first round. Bowie Tupon fell to the ground and didn't move. Daniel Dubois literally hit Kyotaro Fujimoto with a hammer in the ring. British heavyweight Daniel knocked out his Japanese opponent Fujimoto in the second round with a jab. His feet, his foot, his front foot, his... Dubois quickly hit a nice shot and it was game over. Oh, not that time though. And that, I think, will be good night. It was so fast that most people didn't even see it coming. And that's how Daniel Dubois earned Fujimoto's WBC silver belt. In a thrilling fight, former WBC champion Deontay Wilder faced Finnish heavyweight fighter Robert Hellenius. You men receive my right Obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Hellenius takes the initiative in the first round while Wilder tries to catch him on the counter. It seemed like the fighters were still feeling each other out, but it all ended very quickly. Right hand and down he goes. There it is. Good. Deontay Wilder. That's what I said. Don't get wow, wow, wow. Wilder delighted us once more in 2022 with one of the best one-punch knockouts. And let me tell you, it's not all about the big punch all the time. It's about the short punch. Yeah, you're so right. So the short punch... Is Hellenius throws a right hand, left hook, boom, he, and Hellenius is coming in wide. He left himself wide open. Yes, he did. Left and that is why, look, he became a viral sensation after he had that WBC belt. Boxing a Tyson Fury. So that's Russia's former IBF mandatory challenger, Alexander Povetkin, arguably the best Russian heavyweight, appeared to be in for a difficult task against Teke Oru. Tekeoru, the unlimited heavyweight, proved to be a little too much for Pavetkin. 
but Povetkin displayed good shape even though he had some problems with Oruk's right hand, which tagged him several times in round four. But everything changed for African Prince Teke Oruk at the end of the fifth round. After losing his WBC heavyweight title battle to Tyson Fury, Derek Chisora returned to winning ways with a thundering first-round KO and a punch of the month candidate to brutalize Becca Lomjanize in just 29 seconds in 2015. Otto Valin in Sweden. Oh, and now I think he's lost to Derek Chisora as well. Tear up the notes because I think that's it. Good night. And it's all over. First big shot. And Lobby of Nids, he may well have looked at him with trepidation because the first big right hand he took. Good night. Well, that's one of Derek's favorite punches, isn't it? That big, long overhand right. He usually hits with the fingers, let's be honest. But that time, it looked like he turned, over, turned his wrist over. And what a shot that was. Dylan White performed admirably in an eight-round warm-up bout against Brazilian Ireneu Beato Costa in 2015. For White, this fight was little more than a dress rehearsal for his much bigger bout later that year against Anthony Joshua. If he loses, his chances are gone. So, Dylan White got into this fight with one intention. Just KO Costa no matter how or when he gets it. Julian Fernandez may not have understood it at the time, but he was fortunate that boxing rings with ropes were invented. Earlier in the fight, Fernandez was showboating to Sanchez, mocking the Cuban, and even asked him to punch him in the face. It wasn't long before the Mexican's bravado clearly backfired as Sanchez smashed him out of the ring. Out of the ring goes Fernandez, and this fight is now over. Fernandez got the, the less legs that he had to defend against that, and, and you could tell by the way that his body reacted. He just, you know, going out of the ring like that is because your body's out, your legs are out. And Another fight featuring the comeback of heavyweight banger Arslan Bek Mahmudov against experienced Czech slugger Pavel Sauer in 2021. Mahmudov, with an undefeated record of 11 wins and 11 knockouts, against Sauer, a journeyman fighter who had never been knocked out before. Sauer tried to weather the storm, but it was evident from the start that Mahmudov was too much for him. Mahmudov only required 30 seconds in the first round to send Sauer to dreamland. Oh! 
In 2018, Olympic gold medalist Tony Yaka continued his undefeated heavyweight record by breaking down and eventually stopping French heavyweight Cyril Lyonnais. Push your Many dubbed it a battle of underachievers, but it turned out to be a thrilling match that finished in Washington, knocking Hellenius out cold in round eight. Hellenius should have withdrawn after becoming quite ill during the fight week. Washington, on the other hand, was able to keep his career alive after being behind on all three scorecards. It's just what his corner told him to do. Go in there and make it a short night. And he just did that. And we hope. The 2012 Olympic gold medalist from the United States knew he needed to put on a show to prove to the heavyweight class that he's a force to be reckoned with. And he did exactly that. Claudia watching the action. Oh, oh, that, that was Wilson. it. Good line, boss. Good oh, night. Oh, my goodness. Shit. Adios. Oh, damn it. That's it. Drink hey. them. I was saying, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, son. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, that's turn a wrap, around. Turn around. Look at me. Step this way. Step this way. I don't know. Yeah, and that'll do it. It's over. Michael Hunter yeah. with Ooh, the highlight shit. reel knockout oh, over Mike hey. Wilson. That's a man. Experienced Londoner Chisora with a grueling career of 34 wins, with 23 of those wins coming by way of knockout, stood tall against Carlos Tackham with 40 wins, 28 knockouts. Even though stats suggested that Tackham would have a slight advantage in power over Chisora, Derek Chisora dispatched Carlos Tackham with a superb eighth round knockout. Ivan Dichko, a six foot nine towering Kazakh heavyweight, returned to competition after two years out to meet Dennis Baktov in 2021. Baktov has been stopped in eight of his last nine fights and hasn't won a fight in years. So, Dichko's return was brief. Makes him think too much, overthink stuff. Oh! Well, that's the right hand from Dichko. And the referee, Tizin, the referee Tizinde, removes the game shield. Backed off, perhaps, needed to join the Punch Resistance Gone Club and should definitely be prohibited from fighting for his own safety. But when he wants to throw that, that right hand, that right hand, he just softens up that left hand. Always encourages you to start to drop your guard or to come forward. Back in 2018, F.A. took on Jones in a thrilling encounter filled with little to no surprise. Earlier that year in August, Ajagba made international headlines when his opponent, Curtis Harper, backed out of the fight just before it started. It didn't take long for Nick Jones to realize why Harper made that decision.
After announcing his retirement in October 2022, Robert Hellenius pulled a U-turn and stepped into the ring on short notice to face former heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua. Following the withdrawal of Joshua's longtime rival, Dylan White, Joshua was cautious in the fight's early stages, even eliciting some boos from fans, but all that changed with a beautiful right hand that struck on the Nordic Nightmare. That's it. We hope you enjoyed our collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.